It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm really excited for this beer. It's by Adnam Southwold and Magic Rock Brewing Company. Always a fan of both these breweries from two ends of the spectrum, I suppose, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. This is Red Phantom, a rye session IPA coming in at 4.6% ABV. This is a, as of recording this video, a rather new beer from Adnams and Magic Rock. It's brewed with Centennial, Amarillo and Simcoe and the malts are barley and rye. It's 28 IBUs and it's good with pork and, and roasted squash casseroles and stuff like that. Um, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Thank you very much to Adnams Brewery for sending me the beer. Really appreciate that. Um, however, as always, this is a 100% independent beer review. Whether the brewery sent me the beer or not. We like to, you know, be completely 100% independent from, from, from everything. We just, do our, we just do our little thing in the kitchen. Um, a Rye Session IPA. I have had it in there, you can see the condensation on the can. I have had it in the fridge, but I took it out about 40, 50 minutes ago. But it is December, so it's it's still relatively cold. But it's a lovely looking beard, a one finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Quite a clear, rye looking beer. Let's get the aroma. It's, it's, it's a mahogany, a mahogany coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells good. Mmm. Smells really good. You get the centennial. I've always been a fan of red ales. Always have. Always have. In fact, to the degree of enjoying red ales enough that I have a sender in Australia. Um, Mick, if you're watching, hello Mick. Mick in Australia knows that I love a red ale and he will hunt down in Australia as much, as many different cans of red ales, imperial red ales, double red ales as he possibly can and he sends them over to me for review. Um, he knows I appreciate my malt and I think that's very important. Not all beers need to be cloudy and really really light looking. I like the malt complexity of beers like this. Yes chuck some centennial in here by all means but I want to smell the malt as well. And you get that kind of lovely spicy rye coming through and pepperiness and a small hint of cherry cola. Let's dive in. Cheers. Lovely body, lovely body to the beer, really kind of, not overly, not overly done, but a rich, creamy mouthfeel. Good body with the malts coming through. You can see that. Now I've had a sip. Let's get it to focus. There we go. Now you can see it. You can see the body of the beer. Look at that. Biscuit malt, a hunk of your best kind of wholemeal bread. You know the bread you go to the shops for if you know if you're a, a big bread lover like I am. I like picking up like you can pick up rye breads now in places like Asda. They're extra special rye breads. They're like really dark looking, and the the top of the 
bread, the top of the crust, if you like, is is covered in nuts and flour, and it it it, it it's fantastic. There's so much taste to a really nutty loaf of bread, and this has got the same qualities. It's nutty, it's biscuity, it's bready. It's hoppy. You get the centennial coming through. It's like a battle. It's like the two big flavours are having a battle in your mouth. The rye over here and the malt and the bread and the biscuits versus the the centennial hops. And they're like clashing and bashing and I'm hurting my knuckles. Um and and it just it just means that that you know, by them clashing and, and 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 being forced together in a glass of beer that you're benefiting from that you're benefiting from all of that lovely centennial juicy kind of plum and fig and because that's what happens when it mixes with the the, the darker malts in the beer you get more of a plummy raspberry grapefruity kind of flavor that comes through and it's influenced by the malt but then again the malt you're thinking wow that spice that pepperiness that lovely rye coming through and the the nuttiness and the biscuitiness it, it it's a fantastic beer it really is and I, I i promised to talk about the two companies earlier on didn't i so i'll touch on that briefly because i've spent six minutes talking about the beer um Adnams have always been on my radar and admittedly, admittedly, Adnams were one of the first breweries to ever send us a package of beer on the channel. If I look out now at my bar, oh, I see the hundreds of beers that we got now sitting waiting for review. Um, slightly daunted looking out there now um, where the channel's got you know where where we've managed to kind of get the channel to is been amazing but adnams were one of the very first breweries you know when the door knocks and you got a parcel of beer and you're like wow i remember the excitement and and not just not, not just for reviewing the beer but just to get something different we live in wales we live in the land of brains um and and it's quite a dominant regional brewer in, in terms of growing up that's all you were kind of accustomed to was a good pint of brains bitter and, and that's fine or the SA or the Reverend James that's absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with that but when when other beers start being posted to you and hitting you it's 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 like wow 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 this is incredible and to try broadside Yes, now it's available in supermarkets, in Waitrose and whatnot, but back then, when I was first reviewing beer, it wasn't, it was much more of a smaller scale kind of brew, but Broadside was incredible. I remember drinking that thinking, this is an amazing beer at six, I think Broadside's about six, four, something like 6.4%. Loving it, down to their lighthouse, down to their... Um, what was it back then? They had an East Coast, like a West Coast, East Coast style, style kind of American inspired beer. Really enjoyed their beers, Adnams. And then of course, of course, um, I was heavily involved with the Magic Rock launch. Um, when they opened their brewery, uh, we were invited up with the first blogger, first kind of blogger type people to get up there and and, and, and get into the brewery with Richard Burhouse and Magic Rock. Um, he sent us some samples before the brewery even launched to see what we thought of the beer. So to see these two breweries that, that I'm very fond of come together is magic. It really is. It really is magic. Uh, magic, right? <laughs> it really is magic. It's lovely. It's lovely to see that they've come together. Because why can't? Why can't a, a regional brewery? And now, of course, Magic Rock have been... They, they, they're owned by Lion. That's the company. They're owned by Lion, so Lion Stout. You all, you must all know Lion Stout or Lion Lager. They're owned by a much bigger company now, Magic Rock. Um, so they're, they're not quite independent anymore, but probably, in fact, Adnams are more independent than Magic Rocker, which is, which is amazing to think. 
um, after all these years of, of, of you know, you always think Magic Rock are the independent, leading leading the way type of thing, but actually, Adnams are more independent now than Magic Rock are, which is which is bonkers to think. Um, it's a lovely beer, Red Phantom. I totally, I hope, I hope this stays in there. I hope this is brewed all of the time, actually, because I don't think I've had a red ale from Adnams before. And it's pretty decent. Rating. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!